I decided to start recording and uploading videos now that I have an iPhone 15 Pro simply and yes this is very meta simply because it records in stunning uh, log format Apple log which is a viable solution to having a giant camera rig that isn't that secure I mean the Sony a7 IV is nice but it, it's not you can't put a password in there so if anybody takes it it's it's game over and the lens you could just I mean you could remove it you could switch it to anything else I think it, it's great for a controlled environment but for an environment that is as chaotic as uh, sailing with 70 strangers not so much so yeah I decided to strictly record on the iPhone I think it's going to be a lot better with the USB-C capability. Right now, I literally have this connected to a uh, road transmitter, and it's super useful because I could mount this anywhere that could be detected and later use it, as well as have different configurations. I could connect it to an SSD and record for longer time lapses with superb video quality. And the video quality on this thing is great. I have a selection of uh, four lenses, really, and I am super grateful for this technology that is less costly than an anamorphic lens. Well, anamorphic lenses go out for uh, a hefty price anyways, but though it's spherical, though I don't have much say on the bokeh, I have the Blackmagic app that could take uh, advantage of all these different settings like recording 24 or or 60 and upload seamlessly now my biggest take on the iPhone is the memory because recording a log is really uh, taxing on your SSD but you have all these different settings you could uh, you don't have to record at 120 FPS, you could, uh, 4K, you could just record on 180p, I mean 1080p, and upload at 30 frames per second. You know, there's a lot of different ways of cooking this up, and I think that this iPhone is super versatile. This is not an ad for iPhone. They could have done a lot better with the I.O., I mean, adding a headphone jack would be a plus, even a physical SIM card tray.